Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace for you who don't know me and I am at Grace actually on all of my socials. I'm gonna list everything down below for you. And for today's video, I'm going to do my empties video. Everything that I have that I'm gonna talk about has I think been accumulated for over three freaking months. Like I kid you not, it's quite the disaster. I'm going to start with I think the order of things. I'm gonna start from head to toe. So the first products I'm gonna go into are hair products. Now this Ava NYC hair oil, and it works for even like the most unmanageable type of hair. Now this is uh, for all hair types. I love the scent of this hair oil. I use it every wash. It is my second most favorite hair oil in the world. The first one being Moroccan oil, but this smells so good. It has like this, I was like gonna let you smell it for some reason, <laughs> but this has such a like, a powdery smell like I just love it so much I'm... but oh, there's still a little bit left I go ham when it comes to oils whether it's my hair my face my skin I go ham and you know I only put on hair oils on wash days I would recommend this hands down so now I guess I'm gonna move on to my face but in terms of skincare before we get into makeup first I have this H2O aqua defense protective matcha facial moisturizer but I saw Desi Perkins using this. Now the texture is kind of pudding like, but I think because the product was so old, it was kind of like breaking apart. Unfortunately, this moisturizer, first of all, it's really small. Second of all, it was kind of stinging my skin a little bit. And this happened throughout the entire time, time I used it. And I used it all. Okay, you guys, I used this all, it all. It smells really nice. Has a, but it smells also kind of powdery. I feel like if you have sensitive skin or sensitized skin, this actually might not be the one for you. But best way to try out any product is just kind of apply it at the back of your ear first and see if it irritates you because the skin behind your ear is kind of similar to the skin on your face. I have another moisturizer for you. Now this time, it is a peach and lily moisturizer. When I finish products, I break down packaging to finish it. And this is what happened to this packaging. I finished it. This is a hydrating gel moisturizer for all skin types. I love this. I love the scent of this. It's sassy. I would buy everything under their, their brand. Like it's it's so good. Yeah, if you need a moisturizer, buy a KBD brand where the baseline is for sensitive skin. I would try this out, you guys. I would try out any product by them, to be honest. Up next, I have a serum that was gifted from my friend Dana. This is the Shiseido Autoimmune Power Concentrate Serum. So it's basically a really intense formula for a serum. It has a light sense of smell. I think it's a lotus extract, if I'm not wrong. Okay, um, I'm gonna put all the information down below. This particular serum helps protect your skin barrier, strengthens it from environmental stressors as well as your own like stress. It's just overall a really, really protective and really good serum. It didn't bother my skin at all, so I think if anyone has normal dry skin, you should definitely give this a shot. And I think it even works with people with oily skin. This, however, is not even the biggest size. It's super small. This is the cap, and this is all you have. This is super, super small. If I were to buy this again, I would get the biggest size to really get that bang for your buck. But I have to say Shiseido is not an affordable brand. I think most of you already know this. It's quite in the high-end spectrum. So if you're going to invest in this, I would really look into it, maybe test out the products at the counters first. I'm gonna go into sunscreen. I might jump all over the place a little bit here, but this is Super Goop. Now, for those of you who don't know, Super Goop is my favorite SPF brand of all time in Sephora. But this is basically the first facial sunscreen I've used from Super Goop. This is the Sync Screen. It's 100% mineral sunscreen actives. It's reef safe. It's vegan, it's non-irritating, no synthetic fragrances. Now, 100% mineral means it's a physical sunscreen. However, physical sunscreens protect your skin barriers much better than chemical sunscreens. And what I mean by that is the UVA and UVB rays. So it really does protect a little more. So when I go on beach trips or when I go on vacations where I know I'm hitting the sun more, everything that I have in my like vanity, like the SPF that I pack is all physical. I tend to leave the chemical ones behind because I wore this every day in the morning and it was completely fine. And it even has an SPF 40, which is actually most of the standard for uh, super goop. So I would recommend this for anyone who needs a daily sunscreen that's physical to protect your skin from signs of aging and wrinkles and 
sun damage. Up next, I have a facial mist from Too Cool for School. This is the Coconut Milky Mist. It is 87% coconut water. It hydrates and refreshes makeup. The nozzle for this is amazing. The finest mist I've ever come across since like that Morphe one. Anyways, I use this to set my makeup. If I came across this again and I had nothing else left, I would probably buy it again just because of the nozzle. And it smells great. Now onto another K Beauty brand. This is Mamon. And for those of you who don't know, I love cleansing oils and cleansing balms. And this is one of the cleansing oils. This is the Petal Spa Cleansing Oil and it's in the rose scent. The smell is super, super strong, super fragrant. So for any of you who are sensitive to smell or are trying to go the direction of no fragrance in their products like me I'm trying I'm trying slowly but surely this might not be the one for you but did it do the job yes it did I do two pumps and then I would rub my face in it did it irritate my skin no was it stinging to my eyes? No. But I love cleansing oils because it really helps you remove all the dust, the dirt, the pollution, and heavy makeup if you're wearing on that day, and the SPF. Because if you're not wearing SPF every day, what are you doing with your life? If you wanna try something rose-scented, you should give this one a try. Up next, I have this Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. You've seen this before a million times. This is probably my second or third bottle. You guys already know what it is. The nozzle for this is great. It's affordable. I got this as a gift from San Francisco. This is the first product I use in my skincare routine, both AM and PM, because it's a toner, because it's very hydrating and refreshing, as it says on the bottle. But I love the scent of this. It's super light. It's not too overwhelming at all. This is the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Treatment Lotion Mist. I've talked about this before. This is my second bottle. Says the AF, okay? It smells amazing. Nozzle is great. Um, super refreshing. I would use this as kind of like an, es an essence, so after my toner. It was just really nice and refreshing to use in the morning. Um, I can't say it like did made any changes to my life, but the fact that it felt refreshing as well. This is the limited edition NARS Laguna Bronzer. Limited edition in size, okay? Like, oh, I actually should think I should keep the brush. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It was huge, you guys. Laguna Bronzer is my favorite shade from NARS. I think now I'm too tan for it, but my mom got this for me years ago. Look how big it is. And it's thick. It took me too long to finish it. Like I should have thrown it away to be honest. But I have two, three other Laguna bronzes waiting to be used. Like, love this. Thing. And this is the Tarte Filtered Light Setting Powder. It's fine, super fine. Like sometimes if, if you open it, and it comes up and you breathe it in, you choke like a m motherfucker. It smells so good and it has a bit of like a glitter, which most people will hate, but I love this. It's so nice. It wasn't too drying for me. It set my makeup. I can't complain. I would buy this again. I like things that smells nice, even though I'm trying to stay away from fragrant products. It's just so good. But yeah, if you don't like shimmers and you don't want to die, from choking when you open up the product. I, yeah, I won't say it's for you. Really. This is an interesting product. So these are kind of like travel sample sizes, probably once you get in like amenities. But this is the Elizabeth W. Lavender Essential Oil, and it's a pillow spray. I love pillow sprays, especially lavender ones, and I always have one by my bedside table, and I spray it on my pillow every night before bed. The moment I discovered pillow sprays, I never went back. And I know other brands have them, but this, if you guys have trouble sleeping, melatonin is not helping, if CBD oils aren't helping, and you want to feel like you're at a spa, I would try a lavender pillow spray oil. If you're not allergic, of course. Hands down. Pillow sprays. This is the Revolution Concealer. Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. Now this, people say, is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. This finished really quick. Look at this. It's huge. It's huge. In terms of coverage, it was really well done. It didn't really fail me, it didn't crease or anything. I think it did a really good job of blending. I would not mind buying this again. This is the Messier Big Mascara by Lancome. I got onto this baby because of Alana Mara. Alana Davison, the Canadian beauty blocker. I love this. Okay, the mascara brush is very volumizing. I love it so much because I'm I have straight lashes, but now they also sold in the waterproof one and the packaging is basically instead of pink it's blue. I would buy this again. This is such a safe go-to mascara. I know I can depend on no problem at all. This is the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner in Matte Gel Pencil. This product, whenever you need to use it or sharpen it, okay, it breaks. 
okay, it's amazing, but like the minute you like try to do it, the product itself kind of crumbles off. It's just not easy to work with and I just, I gave it a real shot you guys. Like, it, of course it was like maybe around here. Like, I gave this a shot and it just doesn't really work so I'm sure I can't. Up next is one of my first, I think my first NYX products. These are the Soft Matte Lip Creams and they're all in like very nude shades which now kind of wash me out because I'm super tan. Um, I have London, Abu Dhabi and Stockholm. Like actually they're not even dry yet but I just don't use these shades anymore and they're too old to give to anyone and I've used them so it's not very hygienic. Oh I totally forgot. Okay I have another mascara. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation waterproof one. You can only get the waterproof one in the US but this is also in brown. I love Love, love, love the wand. Super volumizing for straight lashes girls like me. The non-waterproof one is sold here, but I really prefer waterproof mascaras because it's humid, it rains, smudges. I do have this skincare product. This needs no introduction. This is for sensitive skin. I also really like the blue one, the one that's like for like people with dry skin, like moisturizing and all that. I do prefer cleans um, double cleansing with oils and balms. But at the end, I always remove my eye makeup. Like if there's any residue, if there's anything left, I do go over it with micellar water. It's really worth the money. Okay, so I do have this Frank Body Coconut Body Balm. So I used this all the way to the point where it was turning bad. Love this. It's basically a really fancy coconut oil. Love this so much. It does get a little sticky. If you like, you know, a little bit of like balminess to your skin, especially right after a shower and you're sliding into your PJs and into bed, this is something I totally recommend. Quite, you know, expensive for a coconut oil. Some people will just rather use your kitchen ones, but um, if you want something that's actually made for your skin, this one is a good one. And this is the Hawaiian sunscreen. And this one, because it's a coconut clear spray and it's for your body, it's actually 50 SPF, okay? It's reef friendly, it smells amazing, uh, it helps prevent sunburn, but it's chemical. So I guess it might be good for UVB rays, but I'm not sure about the UVA. This was super nice. This is a Treats Traditions Relaxing Chakras Body Oil. Main ingredients are rose and rice bran. I would mix this in with any body lotions or cream that I'm using, or sometimes by itself. It's super nice. It smells like rose and rice bran, I guess. If you guys come across this, I would definitely give this a try because it reminds me of Lush because they have this label at the back that kind of speaks about like fragrance, powdery, rose, checked by, and then the name of the staff that made this. It was made in Europe. Nurture's Choice brand. And they even put like quotes of staff onto the bottles. I just noticed that. That's kind of cool. This is the cold press organic virgin coconut oil I use for hair and body. I used to use the kitchen ones, but I realized that products that are meant for your skin is better because it's been formulated that way. It's 500 ml, lasts me a lifetime. I already have my second one already in use and um, I always repurchase this one. But I don't recommend it using it on your face, especially if it's not made for it. And people have to be really careful because it's actually not non-comedogenic. It really clogs your pores. But this is great for my hair. I mainly use this for my hair, to be honest. Um, sometimes if I'm out of body oils, which is actually impossible, I mix this in with my body creams just to give that little extra oomph to my body care after a shower. This is my tried and sometimes true. Uh, deodorant. It is the Kopari Coconut Deodorant. I have used this up. I love the smell of this, but you know, it, it, I can't say that it's it really works all day for me. Next is a body scrub. This is a Simple Sugars Handmade on Natural Body Scrub. It's maple and it has emu oil, which I don't know what that is, but it, it was really nice. It was um kind of a coarse sugar but it smells so sweet, like I just wanted to eat it. Normally with scrubs, some people will feel a little dry afterwards, but this I always felt super, super hydrated because it is mixed with um, with oils. I think this is one of those the more indie organic brands, and I would definitely recommend this. Like, and this is uh, my time to sign off because it's I'm losing daylight. Thank you guys for staying with me all the way to the end. For those who did, you will see me more. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please hit like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for whenever I upload again. 
Um, I'm going to place all the information down below for you guys. If you have any questions, please contact me. I'd be happy to answer and talk to you guys on any of my social handles. As for now, thanks again for watching. Bye.